That's because today's smart topic has to do with a new study about our furry friends. Most U.S. households have a pet or two. In fact, there's a new study out that says about 60% of American households have a pet. And depending on this survey, 14 to 62% of them let their cats or their dogs sleep with them, hmm. which is a part of this new eye-catching report that's out that warns that sleeping with your cats or dogs can actually be a health risk. Now, you have three dogs. Yes, I do. And um, do you treat them as a family member of the house? Well, they are family member, but I don't sleep with my dogs anymore because they shed. Okay. Um, but I used to when I was um, in college and I was a single woman and I lived by myself. Yeah. I slept with my poochies all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. So. Well, and, yes. there they are. <laughs> there they are. This is my, um, that was my dog, Freedom, the little puppy. Yes. The golden there, and that's Mocha. And then Princess wasn't quite with our family yet. So okay. three whole dogs, which always amazes people because they don't think I'm a dog person. Yeah, but you are. And three different dogs. So mm -hmm. they all bring something to the and table. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In fact, she told me who the favorite one was a little earlier. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because she said, but don't tell them. Yeah, don't say anything yes. out loud. Wait, what's that right there? Well, okay, honey? well, there's Buddy on our lap. That's actually our uh, smart family uh, photo that we took from uh, Arizona Parenting Magazine. Right, the cover And there. your daughter is in there too as well. Yes. But it was kind of a crazy wide picture. So that was, um, that's Buddy. I know. And I didn't know you had a dog when we shot that picture. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, how cool. And he is the most beautiful dog. He's all <laughs> fluffy and soft and he's happy. Yeah. And he sleeps on the floor. Okay. <laughs> well, the poll shows that about half of all dog owners and even more cat owners do confess that they sometimes let their pets sleep with them. Meet Kent and his dog, Jamie. The two are inseparable, day and night. In fact, when Kent goes to bed, Jamie is right there beside him. I see her as my you know, best friend and my soulmate. Pretty well from the first day I got her, um, she kind of took over the bed. 50% of all dog owners and up to 75% of all cat owners sleep with their pets. Take a look at this baby. Although many Americans think this type of affection is harmless, a new CDC report documents some unlikely conditions linked to sleeping with, kissing, or being licked by pets. The study confirms a few rare cases when pet owners contracted the plague, meningitis, and worms. As long as you're hygienic and you're washing your hands and you rinse your dog, it's the best that you can do. When the dog's licking your ears and your face and, and you feel that, you know, that the joyous energy. Isn't that just crazy? I mean, when you talk about, you know, you, you, you love your pets, you right. snuggle with them, and then you start hearing that people can get the bubonic plague right. or uh, worms, which actually, you know, you kind of do worry about that with... You know, in this particular case, I don't know. I have to say, and by no means am I an expert, but you know what? This is where knowledge, like, you just don't need to know these things. Just love yeah. your dogs for who they are. Give them a little scrub-a-dub every couple of days exactly. and then let them lay on the bed. Yes, and, okay. you know, and you know what? I was looking at our Facebook comments, and yeah. we have a ton of comments on our Smart Family 15 Facebook page yeah. from viewers answering the question about this particular, you know, um, study, study yeah. in sleeping with your dogs. So... Uh, Anne says, no, my dogs are faithful. <laughs> Meaning they don't sleep with other people right, or just right. sleep with her? Right. Well, I, I know. <laughs> what exactly. kind of faithful are we talking I don't know about? about that one. Well, yeah. Sherry Saw has something pretty interesting. Um, it says, if they are eating off your plate or licking you in the face and mouth, I think that it would be more viable. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, are they trying to link pets to the bed bug infestation. Keep your animals clean and wash your sheets regularly. Yeah, that I makes a lot of that, sense. Sherry. And then some people say, nope, I don't sleep with my pets. and Not so far, so good at 52 and a half, mm -hmm. uh, 52 plus. And then others say, nope, pets stay in the bed with us. We do wash our sheets and our dogs. I love those comments. So keep those comments coming. Join in the conversation at Smart Family 15. We're reading your comments right now. And also, we definitely want you to comment on a guest that we have coming up that's going